The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 38. You got the NASDAQ down 109. S&Ps are off 9. Gold contract. Gold contract trading up $17.80 at eight at 1749 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $18.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 49 cents, $96.83 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Up a full point, played trading 119.28. The third year, up a point plus 24 ticks at 142.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 511 ticks, trading at 106.400. The euro is at 102. The yen is at 136.08. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. So in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. This is pretty cool what's happening. And what you want to happen here if you're a bull, folks, is this. So let's go take a look at the E-mini. So the first, you know, uh, when Tommy was doing the show, bottom line, he had a nice pop-up. And then you gave it up. Well, when you came down, okay, this is a high-volume low when you came down. And we'll kind of come in to test it right now. And that's what you want if you want higher price. So when we came down at 10 o'clock. We got down to a price point of uh, 39.86. You had contract volume of 63,000 contracts. Now watch this. We are right now in eight minutes, and you have 32,000. So the bottom line is that you have no more force on the wait. Well, well, we'll wait another two minutes. But my take is that this is the test of that bar. I'd love to see it get right to the bottom of the bar, actually, okay? Right now we're at uh, 92. This bar got to... 89 uh, and 86 is the number you know we'll see if it's going to be a rejection right then and there the cool thing is is that the contraction of volume is huge man uh, on the way down so we'll see how this shakes out but i suspect that you know we're going to get that test and guess what this market wants higher price and to cut to the chase it's going to be it's all about the u.s dollar you know um the bottom line is that you have the uh, the dollar right now the index is down 494 ticks. And if we can stay down at these levels, okay, the bottom line, it's going to make a huge difference, okay? The level that I'm talking about. Now, this is where the, what has happened is that the dollar, ha whoops, let's do this one. The dollar has stayed above this 106,792. Now, that's a huge sign of strength that the dollar had. You, you know, bottom line, that was when the dollar went up 1,700 ticks in one day. Well, if we get a close underneath it today, that's saying, number one, that it can go to the bottom of that range, which is 106,535. Now, that's a normal deal, folks, okay, meaning that you come back to strength. That's how it works. That being said, though, watch this. This is how this shakes out, and this is what's going to be really intriguing about it. If you take the trend line and you put the trend line up, from the low that was established in May, what you're going to see is that you're going to be coming into that trend line. Now, if you break that trend line with conviction, conviction means normally, my definition of conviction is wide price spread accelerated volume. Now, we don't have volume on the currencies. I would like to see wide price spread. The wide price spread would be just like today. Today, we had wide price spread. You get a 700 tick price spread. You get a 700 tick price spread. That's going to bring the dollar down to 101,297. And the bottom line is that if that's what you get, you can expect that coming right into window dressing next week, that all the big techs are coming out next week. That's telling me if that breaks, man, we are going higher. If we take a look at the euro, the euro is set up the same way, meaning wants higher price. And the euro, no doubt, let me do this for you. So you're going to see this. It's the same setup. It's just the inverse of it. Not as high, but you get the inverse of it. One, and there's this one here. The, in, the, the euro has a higher to go to break its trend to get back up to that uh, 107 price. You know, but with this, 
you get a lot of action out here. The, the most deviant part of the moves out here today, folks, have to do with this uh, note and bond market. Uh, so ch check this out. The 10-year looks like it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. And you're coming into the swing point, and you got monster volume. Now, but the bottom line, we're coming into, I believe, 1.6 million contracts and we'll 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 get 1.6 million contracts today. No, you come yeah. You're coming into 1.6 million contracts. We've already done 1.26. So if that's what we get, your B point on this is the 12016. Your A is 114. So I'm gonna say just six bucks and a few ticks. Get your 124. 124. Where's 120? That'll be a mind blower, man. 124, my God, 124 is bringing you all the way back to where we were. March 14th, That's, it's a monster move, man. And you know, guess what? <laughs> Markets can do it, that's the bottom line. The, my, if I've learned anything in my trading career, markets can do it and they can do it in a heartbeat. Now, let's get over to the gold market and take a look at the gold market. So we have with the gold market out here, bottom line is you get a little break in the dollar. We've, we haven't had any buyers in the gold market. As the gold market has been going down, you haven't had sellers, but Guess what? It's drifted, drifted, drifted low. Okay, so today, bottom line, you get a little pop. If we actually take a look at the equities, you get a couple different things going, which is pretty cool. RGLD. Let's go take a look at RGLD first, because I want to show you something here that is so intriguing. And this is just so deviant, it's unbelievable. So you get Royal Gold. Royal Gold is a, basically acts like a bank, okay? You know, it had a high out here that was established at 147. You go all the way back down to a breakout area of 99. So it gives up 33%, right? Bottom line, you get a little pop out here today. We'll see if we can get something going. But I want to show you this because this has happened the last couple days in the gold market straight across. Look at this. Price cut targets. National Bank from 165 to 150. You can bring many of these equities up and you can see all these analysts have cut the prices Okay, yeah, hey, here's an Eco Eagle cut from 98 to 75, and I'm telling you something, folks, okay? It, <laughs> it's always so weird, man, in the marketplace, right? That you got, you're at highs and they keep saying it's gonna go higher, and you're at lows and they say it's gonna go lower. My take is that, guess what? That is bullish for the marketplace in a monster way. That, you know, you've been at lows, you've been going down for six and a half months, and all of a sudden they're cutting prices. Let's go over to Pan American Silver because we were talking about Pan American Silver yesterday and we were talking about the aspect that it had volume. Well, bottom line, you can see yesterday we went from 18 to 1913. You're at 1952 right now. Bottom line, this thing is game, man. I mean, what, what we just did here is that we just broke the downtrend that started, uh, well, this has been a, all of them been a vicious downtrend. It went from $30 down to 18 um, that being said, though, this broke the downtrend, so this now should make its way up to the $24 area. And what happens also at the $24 area, that is where ice is, okay? Ice is where, that's where it broke down. You can see, first leg down went from $30 uh, down to $24, traded sideways, and then blew apart again. Went from, ended up going from $26 all the way down to twenty. Got a counter trend bounce and then blew apart again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Come right back, folks. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 43. You get the Nasdaq down 97. S&Ps are off 7.5. Let's go inside the NDX uh, and see the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX out here. So you got Tesla up uh, 2%. You got uh, Dollar Tree up 1.7. Uh, Constellation Brands is up 1.5. And you got ADP. We're going to go back to that one up 1.3. Take it away from it. Facebook is down 6%. You have... Uh, Lucid Group off 5.5%, uh, Align Technologies off 5 and uh, Intuitive uh, Surgical is off 4.8. Let's go to ADP, man. This, this is getting interesting because this is the payroll processes. So this is always something interesting. Uh, no, it's great to look at. Okay, so the low is 192, the high is 248. And the reason that it's so good looking at it is it has to do with the con the cons the business. The business model, folks, okay, is payroll. So... Let's take a look at this on a weekly basis. Look at this. It's still holding up, man. Yeah, this is, you know, wow, man. I'm telling you, this is getting really interesting. So look at this, man. So ADP is pushing on a weekly basis with volume. That's saying that ADP wants to run to 240, and the all-time high is 248. Now, uh, that's the case, man. The bottom line is that that's saying that, you know, we are not going to be in the type of shape that uh, the 27th, so they come out with numbers today. Huh. So this is the 26th. Yeah, it's 27th. Bottom line is that that's saying, man, that, uh, hold it. Uh, yeah, uh, that's saying that thing wants higher price, man. And, you know, when you start putting that together with the aspect of where we are, this, uh, this, this, <laughs> this recession that's coming on may be a lot less than any of us think. Oh, in fact, we may not get one. This is kind of strange. 
We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow, the strength versus the weakness. You know, American Express, there's no doubt. American Express was talking about how much money people are spending on travel and entertainment. Uh, that came out. That's up 6% uh, right now. That's putting 39 positive points into the uh, Dow Industrials. You got Home Depot putting 19 uh, Honeywell putting 14. Taken away from it, you got um, Verizon t minus 20 points, Microsoft minus 20, Salesforce minus 10. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at Amazon. So Amazon, Microsoft, all these big dogs next week are going to be coming out with numbers. We'll start with Amazon. Let's take a look at Amazon. So Amazon's approaching the swing. The same thing we were talking about that I'm looking for the S&P to go. So that's going to be 128.99. We've we'll hit 125.50. Uh, it's going to need a lot more volume, but you know what to have here, folks. Oh, this would be crazy. So check this out, man. This would be intense. For all you folks that are into candlestick charting, right? The, one of the biggest, you know, not, not the biggest, but a very good indication, either at highs or lows, right, is island bottoms or island tops. Now, <laughs> this is wild, man. The way that Amazon has traded here, right? Amazon's coming up to its gap. And if Amazon ever gaps away and leaves a gap at this 130 to one, yeah, 130 area and gaps up, that is going to be a total confirmation that bottom line, Amazon is going to go to the moon once again. Because it's very few times I've seen a island bottom like this. This is, and the way that it works, folks, is this. The longer that you've traded at lows, and you actually, most island bottoms are basically only like two or three weeks. You don't have island bottoms that come in of uh, May, June of three months. You know, but bottom line, this is how this is set up, you know? So we'll see where it shakes out, but if that's what you get, you are going to see something that's going to be pretty amazing. Let's go to Microsoft next. Well, actually, let's go here. Oh, yeah, let me see what Amazon is saying they want to come in with. They are coming in. They are going to be looking to come in with $119 billion to the top line and $0.14 cents to the bottom line. Now, $0.14 cents is not going to be, that's going to be easy for them to do because the bottom line is that they disappointed the last time and they came in at 37 cents because what had happened to their CEO, I forget the guy's name now, bottom line was spending more money. Bezos is uh, the chair now, the, spending more money. And we know in Amazon's case, they can do whatever they want to do. Meaning, if they spend less money, that earnings goes up dramatically. If they, if they spend more money, it goes down. You know, so the bottom line is that uh, we might see some action that's gonna be extraordinary here. We go over and take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft is gonna be coming out with their numbers on the 26th. And uh, so what's that? One, two, we're, 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 one second, let me see. We're at the 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Okay, so that's Tuesday, right? Um, the bottom line is that uh, that's trading 261. So the low for the year is 241. The high is 349. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, see, this still has a high volume low at that 241. Yeah, this is this is not as clean. It's not as clean. There's no doubt about that. All right, we'll see where it's going to go. Let's go to Home Depot and take a look at. Well, actually, let's go to DHI. You know, we were talking about DH Horton yesterday. DH Horton came out. Numbers weren't that great, but the bottom line is that uh, the bottom line uh, is that they weren't that bad. Also. Uh, they they went higher yesterday with volume. It's an ABC structure in the way up. You can follow through today. Uh, bottom line is that you're up $1.70, $77.53, and that wants higher price, as does uh, the rest of these builders. You know, you, you take a look at Lana, and this, this is the interest rate structure, there's no doubt. It's pretty amazing, folks, that we've gone down eight tenths of 1% uh, in like three and, three and a half weeks. Um, you can see Lenar, man, Lenar is, in the, okay, so this is really cool, man. Lenar is actually, look at this. Lenar is actually taking out its consolidation. So you can make the case, I'm not going to take the bottom here, but if I just take, well, actually, Lenar's an ABC up too. So this is, I think it's the 10 point, it's the 13 point A to B, which gets you uh, 91. Oh, my Sith. 
70, no, 80, oh no, 80, 80, 85 to 87. Yeah, we're going, we're going up, man. Now, let me put this on a monthly. I'm curious as to what happens with a monthly. Yeah. So, you know, okay, so when we put this on a monthly, what you're going to see it'll be, is that it came down to the highs of the lows, rejected $67.15. You came to 63. You did that with 61 million shares versus 131. So... If we bring it back again, and this is where I heard Tommy talking about the, he was walking through this this morning as to the, as to the aspect of these FIB numbers and the retracements that happened in 2007, because I was well aware of it because I was trading them all. Um, you know, the bottom line is that you pass the point three eight two, a five zero here is ninety dollars, man, and that's the ABC structure up. So you want to keep your eye on that, man. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 6. Uh, Na okay, Nasdaq's down 143. S&P's are down 60. Come right, 16. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow gave it up uh, down 28. Nasdaq's down 150. S&Ps are off 19 and a half. Now, let's go back to that uh, good old E-mini because what you're going to see here is that you broke it. Now, you don't have the volume on the break, so which is... We'll see where this is going to shake out. Okay, so here, let's bring this back. There we go. Okay, so the volume, it just, it broke that uh, 86. You know, we're at 81 right now. The first volume was 63,000 contracts, and you just broke with 39. It, this is not going to stay down. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. You know, of course, we're all in the speculative business. Uh, that's my personal opinion. But <laughs> the bottom line is that when you break something that's that dramatic and then we come on the other side and you're still going into 
42 and you only did 39. It's not enough. That's the bottom line. Let's go into the NQs and take a look at the NQs to make sure that as that break was going on, did you have the volume or didn't it? Because if you have harmony, meaning with both of them, it's a different ball game. If you don't, so on the NDX, it was 543 with 20,000 contracts, and we broke it with 15. Same setup, man. Same setup. So we'll see if it, you know, the NQ's having a hard time. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and, you know, bottom line, let's go to the SMHs, because we know that the SMHs work both ways, okay? On the way up, on the way down, all around. And you know what? They're only down four bucks, man. So that's, you know, this is this right here. Um, you know, volatility, we got volatility in spades. There's no doubt about that. And it's, a, you know, we'll see where it shakes out on a Friday. Uh, there's a lot of noise out here. Um, that's my take on this market. Because what you have, so when, you, when you're trading a market like this, folks, right? If you agree with the aspect that the dollar is running everything, when you get a move like this on the way down, and yet the dollar hasn't moved, meaning, you know, you, you moved 100 ticks, okay? But, well, maybe that's enough. Uh, but... My take is that if we stay under, you're still down 465. And if you stay under these areas, meaning the area on the dollar to keep your eye on is the 106,792. That's 300 ticks from where we are. The bottom line, that's going to bring relief into the marketplace. That's how it works. Snap. Let's, well, actually, let's, hit. let's go to Meta because check this out. This is what happened last night, folks. After the close last night, um, Meta, Facebook, came out and flat out, they are changing their whole deal, man. If you're wondering, so at four o'clock yesterday, I finished the program, Meta comes out, turns around and says they are gonna basically change their homepage and what they're doing is that they're going after, well, they're going after TikTok has taken all their business, okay? So, I mean, all these platforms are insane. If you wanna be brainwashed, if you wanna not have a life, Stay on them, okay? Because the bottom line, they're a bunch of slaves. That's, that's how it comes down. And Facebook knows it, number one. They, they're the first runner out here understanding how you can move people around. And TikTok, TikTok has taken over the world. So now Meta is going to change its whole structure and be more like TikTok. Probably smart move business-wise, but the bottom line is that if you're involved in that, you know, you're screwed. That's the bottom line, you know. So Facebook parent meta platforms is changing the way it, show, it shows users posts and videos on its flagship social network. Part of an effort to get people to watch content from accounts they don't already follow and better compete with the video app TikTok. What's also happening, you know, when I was talking about this, Bested was showing me on uh, Instagram. What's also happening there, they've changed their... Uh, a logarithm on Instagram also. So now what ends up happening is that you, they're pushing everything at you. That's the bottom line. Before, uh, my understanding is that if you're there, you know, you, you have your friends and you're looking at your friends. Now that, that has changed. He was showing me yesterday how um, you push the first couple up, right? And that's your friends. And then all of a sudden everything starts firing off after that, after uh, you've seen your friends. So, um, you know, we'll see where it's going to shake out. But I suspect... Uh, you know, they're going to get business, man. That's, that's the bottom line because, you know, that, that they're all addicting. That's, that's the real bottom line. Snap. We take a look at Snap. Snap is left out in the cold. Uh, what you have here with Snap, the bottom line is that uh, it says advertisers slump crushers quarterly sales. You know, uh, bottom line is that with Snap, you know, this has been like the market. It's been on a one-way trip on the way down. We just went from $41 down to 10 uh, it looks like it's going to be a monster ABC down. And if it is, look at this, man. If it is, you take the top of this gap, which is the bottom of the gap, which is 21. 21 to 12. So you get eight. That's seven bucks. That's saying it's going to seven bucks. Let me see what's at seven bucks. Yeah, seven dollars and eighty nine cents is the low that was established in uh, just March of twenty twenty. Oh man, March of twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah, that's where it wants to go, man. March of twenty twenty. That's pretty amazing, man. There's no doubt. That's uh, you know they they're blaming it on advertising, but I'm not quite sure. 
uh, how they push out advertising anyway. You know, we got to take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at Newmont. Okay, so Newmont, of course, one of the largest gold stocks out there. Um, still can't catch a bid, <laughs> which is amazing. <coughs> so like, I'm not quite sure, you know, what's going on with that bid because Newmont, folks, had been the strongest company and the run-up, the last run-up that we had inside the gold market. Newmont, you know, ran ahead of everyone else to 86. Uh, you're at 51 right now. And, you know, just like uh, all of these equities, it looks like these equities have taken basically a 33% hit. And, you know, Newmont's not out of it yet. That's the real bottom line. If we go to Barrick, we take a look at Barrick Gold. Let's take a look at Barrick. Barrick, same thing. So these big dogs, man, are having a problem. You know, an Eco Eagle, uh, an Eco Eagle out here. That is a problem. Anglo Ashanti, this gap tired this morning. Let's see if it's still holding price. Well, it's still up 30 cents. This gap tired this morning. It's, that's, it, it, this one's a close call. Whether Now, it, when I was talking about Island Bottom, this one's a close call. You know, it does have a little tiny gap, but it's only two cents. Um, but that's how Island, Island Bottoms normally form. You know, you get five or six days, then you gap out of it, you gap down, you gap out of it, then you get some action. You don't have what I just showed in uh, Amazon. But guess what? If that's what you get, then the difference is... The strength of it is absolutely dramatic. There's, that's how it goes. We go to uh, Goldfields. We take a look at Goldfields. Now, Goldfields has taken over GFI. And that got a little pop today. And the calculation is 0 0.60 share of Goldfields for one share of Umana. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll go one for one out here. That's how they're going to shake out. Um, you know, we'll see whether they can get any traction. Uh, you're going to no doubt have a, a very large company when those combine because when we take a look at GFI, revenue in GFI is, uh, i got to convert that to yen. Well, I mean, it's yen. Yen is running, not yen, yeah, um, to the Randall. Randall is about 17, yeah, 1670 right now. Yeah, I can't do that in my head. <laughs> uh, bottom line, it's going to very be a very large company, you know, because the bottom what you, what you do have is that uh, dollar wise, uh, Umana Gold takes in 1.9 billion. Yeah, I can do this in my head. I can get this close. And yeah, 1.1. Yeah, it's going to be a Two point, about a $2.5 billion gross company. Not bad. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials down 74. NASDAQ's off 196. S&P's off 27. We'll come right back. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 58. You got the NASDAQ off 186. S&Ps are down 26. Let's get over and take a look at Verizon. So we had uh, Ma Bell first coming out saying, uh, bottom line is that uh, people weren't paying their bills. And uh, Verizon, uh, you know, that came out with numbers here. And you know, Bob, let's take a look at what they're saying. Uh, Verizon uh, fell in early trading after cutting its forecast for the second straight quarter, adding to concerns that consumers are pulling back on spending. And, you know, as many of the tigers and tigers as are saying inside the den, you know, what's amazing about this, folks, is that I, I'd say that everyone uh, would pay their phone bill first, or at least have a phone bill. So this is, this is, this is pretty wild. The largest U.S. wireless wireless carriers having def, def, difficulty keeping up with rivals on subscriber growth amid heavy phone discounts and decade high inflation. Verizon said Friday that it added only 12,000 monthly wireless phone subscribers in the second quarter, well below predictions for 167,000. Well, the bottom line, it seems like everyone. I mean, are they trying to have uh, you know like? two-year-olds with phones now or something, man, because it seems like everyone you see has a phone. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Look at this, man. Okay, so the problem here, you got two gap downs, okay, because you had Ma Bell come out yesterday. That took Verizon lower. You got another gap down here. Now, let's go take a look at this on a weekly. This is, wow. Okay, so you broke... 180 million, 136, 121. I had to pull this into a monthly and see where this is coming into. I see, okay. Yeah, it's, just, it's a consolidation, man. It's coming to the bottom of the consolidation. The consolidation of breakout is $40.92. Uh, That's how this shakes out, man. You can see what's happening also, though. You're, you know, yeah, this is just coming to the bottom of the consolidation. The re reason I'm saying that, four months ago, it came down with 552 million shares, right? You're not even get close to that. We're at the end of the month, and you're at 267. So that's how that's set up. Let's go take a look at Ma Bell. Because of the, uh, so Verizon, uh, at this price, you pay, you're, it's paying a 5.76% dividend. If we look at Ma Bell, Ma Bell took a toasting yesterday. I see. My bell gap down. Oof, look at this. My bell gap down. The gap is 1829. Oh, this is going to get interesting. So watch what happened here. On, on the daily, you came down with 123 million going into 157 million. You, you closed the gap. The gap was uh, 1829. We hit 1824. This is so weird, man, when it can do it like right almost to the penny. And you're talking about, you know, not one to five numbers. You know, you're talking about very large numbers. So same type of setup, man. That's this is definitely the same type of setup. Ma Bell's paying a dividend of 6.04 percent at this number. 
And let's just, I want to look at this again. So Ma Bell was saying it fell the most in 20 years after saying some customers are starting to pay off, starting to put off paying their phone bills, which contributed to the wireless carrier cutting its forecast for free cash flow this year by $2 billion. The emerging economic strain on consumers is adding to the pressure that the company had already been facing from steep discounts on phone. You know what the bottom line is? I suspect, you know what this could be, folks? The bottom line is that, you know, you had, we had the pandemic, right? You had the pandemic, you had the amount of government funds that are going into the economy in a monster way. You had plenty of folks that didn't, that got so used to it working, they don't want to work, right? Now what's happening is that they're running out of money because now it's like, you know, yeah, that's, that's, I suspect that's exactly what's going on. Because if you're working, you're going to pay your phone. If you decided that, you know, you're on the dole for a long period of time and, you, you know, it's a one-way street, well, guess what? A one-way street does, you know, money goes quicker than all of us would like it to go. And I suspect that's, that's what's really, so if, if that is the case, if you get your head wrapped around that for a second, that is going to be, you know, one, two-quarter deal. Because what we're going to see is that you're either going to see folks go back to work, or uh, well, you're just going to basically see folks being broke, you know. And I'm talking about, you know, right across the board here. You know, there's that. That's how uh, I suspect it, we're going to see things. Um, what was it? There's a. I'm not sure whether it was Best Food was telling me or um, a few of these restaurants right now. This is what's going on. They're coming up that this is the first time that they can get, get a full crew because people are coming back. Meaning, you know, they've, they've had plenty of business, but the help side of it hasn't happened. Well, my understanding is that that is changing and it's changing pretty quickly. Um, and I'll ask best for that this, this afternoon when we're on here, but I believe that he was the one that telling me that uh, he was at a restaurant and someone was telling him it was the first time that they, that they actually had a full staff in almost three years. You know, so um, that makes a difference. You know, if people want to work, the bottom line is bread out here to be made. Um, you know, if, uh, of course, what does happen is that when you're on the dole, um, you can get very used to that, and it's very hard to come back out and start making money and you know, working in general. You know, it's so intriguing, you know, that whole cycle in general, meaning that you go to work. I remember when I was a kid, like, thinking that, you know, okay, so you got to go work to make money. I kind of always enjoyed it. Um, but I also understood that, oh, man, I'm going to do this the rest of my life. That, that is quite a deal, you know, particularly when, you know, when you get a full-time job. That, 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 that changes the dynamic. There's no doubt about that. that. Okay, is this what we do, you know? And, you know, I've, I've explained to, you know, plenty of folks that... It, Whatever you do, you want to really enjoy it. Just like, as you know, we got a, a Duffy saying, I enjoyed my career. I had a lot of fun. There's no doubt about that. You, you, what I, what I expect most of us do, you know, Duffy was probably really lucky, is that you have to do everything. I don't care. I, you know, picking up garbage, cleaning toilets, I can give it, it didn't matter to get to where you want to go. So, you know, when you're young, that's what you got to do, man. I mean, you know, unless, you know, you're, you know, actually know what you want to do and you have, you know, uh, uh, a lucky uh, silver spoon or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Then, then that changes things maybe a little. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I think even uh, you have challenges at the beginning. That's the bottom line. If you want to get somewhere, um, you know, you're not going to start here. Okay, this, this doesn't happen. You're going to start here, okay? And then you're going to claw your way up, you know, and, and get here, okay? And then it's a lot, you know, anyway, you get the gist of it. But then you get used to it, man. Then it's like, okay, you know, it's cool, man. You know, you can get creative. You can do things, okay? Um, and you can have responsibility and take care of yourself and, you know, the folks that you love. That's, that's where it's at, man. The, you know, I, that's, it's, it makes life a lot easier, I can tell you that. 877-927-6648, we have the Dow. Dow's down 50, NASDAQ is uh, off 190, S&P's off 27. Uh, gold, gold is uh, holding price here, man. Gold's up 1440. We can hold price and 
These equities can uh, basically hold price. It's going to get really interesting inside this gold market. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, uh, down 29. You get the NASDAQ off 174. S&Ps are down 23. So let's go over to these S&Ps, take a look at it. We know that you will, you got by that swing point. You did it with lighter volume. Bottom line, we'll see. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at now. See, now you got another high volume spike, though. This is going to get interesting. So 3967. Let me see what this is. This is 58 thousand contracts you're going oh that's all right see what watch this folks this is so cool man i'm telling you you know it, listen i'm not encouraging you day trade that's for sure but if you really want to understand just you, you know you can keep your eye on these and see how these markets move so you see what happened here the you had, well first off two different things happen right you take the swing out the swing had 63 million uh, 63,000 contracts you take the swing out with 39,000, then you make a low with 59. But guess what? The 59 was still coming into 62. Now, the exercise that you do here is just say, okay, now how are you gonna go back up? Because thus far, the bottom line is that what we actually did is went into the 
expansion of price at 11.30 yesterday morning. So this is going to be, you know, as each and every day out here has been. You, the volatility is not going to slow down. This volatility is not going to slow down, period. You know, we got another two or three months of this volatility uh, happening in spades. Next week, I can expect a huge amount of volatility. Uh, my take, we're still going to that swing point, man. That's the bottom line. That's, that's how I'm looking at this. And what you're going to see, the swing point I'm talking about is, is the June 1st swing point. You take a look at this cash S&P. The cash S&P right now is trading at uh, 90, no, 90, 39.69. And the swing I'm talking about here is 41.77. So that's how that baby's set up right now. We'll see how this shakes out. You stay right there, folks. We got uh, Think of Swim coming back up. Uh, coming back at noon, right? Yeah, no. Think of Swim's coming up, and then I'm in uh, Steve Rhodes after that, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, down 58. NASDAQ's off 184. S&P's uh, down 27. Have a great one. Safe one. See you this afternoon, folks.